In this problem also, I have drawn two setups of three springs each connected to one mass. Now, as you can see in both these setups, these three spring and the mass setups are in the horizontal plane, okay? So all of them are at the same horizontal level. The object's mass is m and the springs have equal spring constants of k. The systems were left as it is initially. So they are at their natural lengths. Also, let us ignore gravity over here. Okay. So although they are kept at the same horizontal plane, as a result of the weight of the mass, there is no movement in the downward direction. So they are at the horizontal plane and they are kept at a gravity free space. Okay. Observe the angles. In this particular setup, in the first setup, the angle between these two springs is 90 degree. The angle between this spring and the line passing through this spring is equal to 45 degree. That means the angle between this spring and this spring is 135 degree, 90 plus 45 degree. Okay. Here it's a symmetrical case. The three springs are located at angles of 120 degree each. So they make the complete 360 degree. Now in each of the three cases, what is done is as follows. Let me first name the springs. Let's say this is spring A, this is spring B, this is spring C. Here, this is spring A, this is spring B, and this is spring C. So what is done is, this object is taken and it is moved in such a manner that it compresses spring C along its length, okay? So a small displacement is given in this direction, let's say of an amount of x. Here also the same thing is done. This object is given a push in a direction which is along the spring C so that spring C is compressed by an amount of x. What you have to do is after the system is released, you have to find out whether we have an SHM over here. Also, in the second setup, we have a SHM over here. If it's a case of SHM, we have to find out what is omega, what is F, what is T in both the cases, okay? So, in the follow-up video, you would start with analyzing setup 1 first. We would be analyzing setup 1 and then we would get into the setup two. Try the problem out by yourself. If you are not able to solve it, we will be solving it in the follow-up video. Thank you.